is a beautiful view here on the Detroit River with Windsor, Canada in the background. But what's swimming under the surface could be dangerous to nearby Lake Erie. A tour boat glides by, one of the many ways to enjoy the river and our Great Lakes. But inside Cobo Center, a thousand people are at a water quality conference, learning valuable information from researchers on how to protect our greatest natural resource. Matt Snyder is one of them. The University of Toledo student presented his findings on invasive species. He uses water samples, DNA, and genetic analysis to determine what species are in the water and if uninvited ones could compete for the food food and ruin the habitat. His goal is early detection. Asian carps, if they did establish in Lake Erie, they would probably just explode in population numbers. And because they're eating at the base of the food chain, that would drastically affect uh, the whole food web in the Great Lakes or all of the food webs. Hannah Schepler just graduated from BGA. She is studying bait shops along Lake Erie to figure out what's being sold to fishermen and if any of it is unwanted and potentially damaging. We found generally that a third to half of the shops actually had bait species in their tanks that they weren't advertising. And a few shops sold goldfish, which is an invasive species. When she publishes her findings, she hopes bait shops will change their ways. UT has $12.5 million of active research right now on water quality, so there is a lot to share here. The conference runs through Friday. In Detroit, Tim Miller.